A couple of weeks ago, I, in the middle of the night, I broke into BAE Wharton Air Base in order to try and disarm uh, British-made fighter jets, typhoons, tornadoes and hawks that uh, are owned by Saudi Arabia and that are being used uh, for war crimes in Yemen to kill innocent people. Uh, I was arrested and I'm currently in quite a lot of trouble but I have absolutely no regrets uh, that I did it because these planes are being made in this country and they're being used to kill innocent people and it's a shame on the British and we've got to stop it. So British arming of Saudi Arabia is, uh, we are one of their main uh, people that arm them and they are an absolutely abhorrent regime that use uh, torture on their own people, repress democracy and repeatedly invade countries like Bahrain and Yemen to stop democracy springing up in those countries. They are... Br Britain supports them by arming them and it's... We're meant not to sell weapons to people that are going to use them for torture, for repression, for killing innocent people, for peop uh, but... And, and it's so illegal that we are arming Saudi Arabia. The UN have condemned it, Amnesty have condemned it, Human Rights Watch, all the NGOs have condemned it, two parliamentary committees have condemned it, uh, and right now, this week, there's a judicial review in the houses of... in uh, the, the Royal Courts of Justice uh, uh, to, to say these uh, arms sales to Saudi Arabia are clearly illegal. Uh, I personally believe they're illegal. I know they are illegal. Uh, that's why I broke into the airbase two weeks ago to try and disarm these weapons. When we were, one of the interesting things we saw there, when we went to scout it out and look at the fences and see where these planes were kept, I saw a Saudi color, a Saudi uh, typhoon, uh, no, tornado with a Saudi flag on. Now, a tornado, we haven't made tornadoes in the UK for decades. Uh, but they're still in active service in the Royal Saudi Air Force and they're probably, and they're definitely being used in Yemen and they're probably the planes that dropped the British made cluster bombs in the Yemen which is you know, obviously against all the cluster bomb treaties and is just a completely abhorrent thing to do and that plane's back in RAF Wharton decades after it was made you know, back in Britain and we're servicing it or giving it more weapons or something and so Britain is not only selling the weapons we're actively making sure that the Saudi Air Force can fly can operate, can commit these war crimes in Yemen, we're that involved in the war, uh, there are hundreds of British armed services personnel and personnel from arms companies in Yemen and in Saudi Arabia making sure these planes can fly, there would not be an active Saudi Arabian Air Force without our active British uh, collusion in making these planes high fly and Saudi Arabia would not be able to commit nearly as many war crimes in Yemen if Britain didn't make it happen. So we have to stop arming them, we have to stop supporting them and we have to take all, we have to take them to the High Court, we have to support campaigns in the trade and sometimes we're going to need to do things like break into uh, aircraft bait, uh, Brit British air, well, where these planes are being made and try and stop them being used because it's so clearly illegal.